so hello guys this is pawan kumar and you are watching rkb studies as you know this video is about the types of doors if you are an architecture or design student then you must know the types of doors and their uses and if you are preparing for any of the examinations like nata je mains paper 2 gate architecture you seed or seed so then also you should be knowing the types of doors and their uses and how what types of question can be asked so let's see what do we have so the types of doors which we will be studying in this video they are categorized based on the mechanism and style so first one we have the folding or by folding doors as the name for folding means something which folds so in this one the panels of the doors as you can see these these will fold and stack at the end of the door the panels are connected with the help of hinges as you can see these are hinges and they are basically installed on the places where the span is too much so like you can see folding doors are a type of wide span doors that folds and unfolds instead of swinging okay we can't use the swing doors in this big span because that will take more area they are made up of the panels that connect with the help of hinges or pivot joints which allow them to accordion fold and collapse into a stack when opened so second we have dutch doors in dutch doors we use two panels in a single frame and these both of them operate independently dutch doors are ideal for kitchen to let air in or as the door to the patio for letting pets and kids out hope you got it and these are mostly used in entry point doors next is hinge doors this is not a like a, a separate category of doors but we can say it is more of a mechanism of the doors like uh, any door which have the hinges we can say hinge doors now the hinges can be operated in 90 degrees 180 degrees 270 or 360 also let me give you an example like if you have a wall like this and here is a hinge then this hinge can operate like this or like this also and sometimes this hinge can operate like this and it makes a 270 degree angle also in some places where we use the fencing now just take an example where uh, a wall is a fencing this is a wall just a fencing and uh, there is a door also which is very thin like equal to the fencing and we have the hinge now this can be operated like 360 okay so it depends on the types of wall and the type of hinge also how much the swing will be next is sliding door so sliding doors are very similar to the sliding windows if you haven't seen the types of window video you can see here somewhere i button will be there and just click it you will get the link of the video so sliding doors are usually consist of two panels where one is fixed and the other slides over the fixed one this saves the space and comes in handy when there is a restriction to swinging movement here it's not compulsory that it should have two panels it can be three panels or four panels depends on the space and the area of opening you want next is pocket doors okay so these doors are very similar to the sliding doors but these disappear into a wall when they are open they are perfect for powder rooms so this means that uh, if there is a wall like this and this is the opening for the door pocket doors are designed like this inside the wall there will be a pocket equal to this opening or more than that and in this one this door will be fitted when the door is open this will be perfectly here and when the door is closed this will be completely closed and there will be a lock they are perfect for powder rooms closets and bathrooms pocket doors move on a track into a door slab contained within a pocket or hollow space in the wall what it says is that these pocket doors move on a track just below this you can see here is a track on which these move and this track goes 
till the pocket is there so next type of door is barn door so a barn door is a sliding door that is hung on a sliding track it's a type of sliding door of course but it is hang on a sliding track this is the track you can see in the top and it slides over this with the help of these rollers instead of closing and opening like traditional doors they slide to side and open perfectly people like them because they can easily transform the room and add a unique charm that's right so next is pivot or revolving doors basically in pivot doors three or four panels are attached with the help of a single vertical shaft or we can also say axis so when any of the panel is pushed all the panels rotate so we can say only one or two people can go through one quadrant at a time and these are mostly installed on the places where we want to reduce the rush of the people so next is swinging or saloon doors saloon doors are made using the bi-directional hinges okay so these types of hinges are as you can see uh, in this joint this hinge will help these panels to swing both the sides that's why we are saying bi-directional bi means two directional and these do not extend for the full length okay so this uh, these panels swing both sides but they cannot sing till full length the saloon doors are mostly installed in the mid length providing only visual barriers so their purpose is only providing the visual barriers so somebody standing this side can't see what is happening at this position in the other side so that is the only aim next is roller doors it is known by so many names like the roller shutter security shutter coiling door roller door or sectional overhead door so in this type of doors you will find there are so many horizontal slates and these all are individually connected with the help of some joint it's not hinges it's a kind of joint which helps in folding and this is the roller when you push upward this thing keeps rotating and folds into a single cylinder mostly you will see handles at the bottom but in case of industries these doors are way higher so for them you can't open with the help of these handles there you will see uh, on left to right side one key is provided where you, which you can rotate and it will go up or come down and one more thing you will also get the locking systems at the end of these doors so that you can lock the door uh, next is flush doors so flush doors are very simple doors uh, which have the flat surface uh, they are smooth and they have even finish mostly these are made up of the plywood or you can say medium density fiber board and uh, they have no raised or recessed panels so you will see like these are all flat these give a modern appearance and uh, and we mostly use these uh, type of doors in the interior spaces next type is battened or laced doors all these vertical panels are called as battens so the door made only with the battens we can say it's a battened door and a door made with the help of uh, ledges only then we can say it's a laced doors but when door is made with the help of both battens and ledges then we say battened and ledged doors we also add the braces these are the uh, inclined members in the door these are provided for the stability and strength mostly this setup is used mostly in the farmhouse or the old building setup next is collapsible doors in collapsible doors uh, you will find multiple uh, panels that can be folded or slid to one side offering flexible and stylish solution so as you see these are the main members and these are connected with the help of these uh, you can say braces also uh, in all of them you will find some uh, some kind of joint or hinges and when these are pushed like this all these members will stack together and they will be vertical and these also will be vertical these will be hidden behind all these so after collapsing you will get a enough space after opening maybe all these will collapse and it will fill this much space and this much full area will be open for movement you might have seen these types of doors in your locality but nowadays these types of doors are not so common 
used in the new buildings so next type of door is up and over doors so as the name suggests they go up and over these are mostly used in the garages and they operate by swinging up and outwards in a single piece okay these are all a single piece doors they are hinged at the top and open by moving upwards providing a clear and unobstructed opening and these are commonly used in residential garages and they offer a simplicity and durability and design next is high speed doors uh, these are designed uh, for rapid opening and rapid closing to maintain the controlled environments these doors prioritize the swift access and reducing the energy loss and optimizing workflow this can be used in commercial spaces industrial spaces warehouses uh, manufacturing facilities or in hospitals also you can see them next is automatic doors as the name suggests they operate automatically when somebody comes in they open automatically and when nobody is there they close automatically it happens with the help of sensors and motion detectors these enhance the convenience and accessibility of the space and they are mostly used in the commercial spaces and where we need seamless entry and exit this provides hands free and efficient solution for pedestrian traffic next is louver doors louver doors use slatted panels which are called as louvers these restrict the visibility but maintain the ventilation okay so these doors often enhance the aesthetic appeal and commonly used in closets cabinets and spaces where air flow and visual discretion are desired i'm sure you might have seen these types of doors in your locality or in some uh, hospitals next and last door type is trap doors so trap doors can be hinged or it can be a removable panel in the floors or ceilings these are designed to provide the access to the spaces which are below or above and they are often used for maintenance or storage purposes and can be discreetly integrated into surfaces for practical and hidden entry points hope you like the video and if, you, if that is so then please give a thumbs up to this video and and comment down for any query or the suggestion for the next video and do share this video to the friends uh, who are in architecture or design field and last thing if you haven't done till now please subscribe this channel because we keep posting such type of content which are related to architecture and design thank you